look, here we are, we're back. I'm just as surprised as you are. That wasn't the screen I was expecting. What have I done? Uh, hi, it's me, JP. It's time for JP's product pick of the week. And here we are, it's a Tuesday. It's the last day of the month, last day of November, as this year, 2021, keeps uh, rapidly approaching the end. Uh, that sounded more ominous than I probably meant. Uh, but hey, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, thanks. Uh, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I was out last week on a Thanksgiving break and it was a lot of fun. Um, and we survived air travel. So, hey, uh, so let's see, let me, let me check in by the way, if you're wondering who am I talking to, who's this guy talking to? I'm talking to, uh, our discord right over here. If you're wondering where to find this discord server, where lots of chat is happening, you can head to adafru.it slash discord. You'll get an instant invite to the server and uh, you can look for the live broadcast chat channel. That's the place where this discussion is happening. Uh, Dave Odessa says this is St. Andrew's Day. I didn't know that. Hi, Tackle the World. Uh, And hey, uh, Dexter Starboards and Scott B... Scotty B... Me up. It's a confusing name. Gary Z, C. Grover, Yanisku. Hello. Uh, so let's, uh, get going with this thing. First thing I want to do is head you over here to this URL or this QR code that's going to take you to the product page for this week's product pick. And there you're going to find we have a terrific, gigantic, huge discount. So head on over there and, uh, you can watch the show from inside of that page. You can also purchase up to 10 of this week's product pick at the discounted price. You don't need a coupon code or anything. Just put it in the cart and make sure that you get uh, your your shopping cart taken care of and purchased uh, pretty soon after the show ends. It's not an exact science, but pretty soon after the show ends, the discount disappears. Uh, So let's see. What I wanna do next is have our own Lady Ada tell us a little bit about this product pick. Uh, Take it away, Lady Ada. The star of the show today is the Stemma speaker, which you might yeah. be like, that's the, that's the name uh, of the that's, code. Yeah, Stemma sound, and I'll tell you what I like about this. I like the uh, back of the board a lot. That was because you just, you just designed it. No, yeah. I didn't design this. Yeah, you said, like, this is what I want. Yeah, I, I uh, had some ideas for yeah, it. Yeah, inspiration. Um, so what's neat about this is that we've had a bunch of projects where you would um, want to add audio output to like a Circuit Playground Express or like a micro bit. And we wanted to have a little slim speaker add-on. So um, what's nice is that there's two ways to connect. You can either use this Stemma JST cable, which is a two millimeter pitch cable, which we have various types of, or you can connect to these alligator clip pads. So if you have, uh, I do have something with alligator clips. So if you have alligator clips, you can clip onto here, and then red is power, and then this is, sorry, this is ground, this is, yeah, and this is signal. Man, these are slippery, slippery buggers. Okay, so you can clip onto that, and so you can send signal this way, or you can send it this way, either way. Um, I personally like this cable because it's nice and sturdy. And you've got our one watt oval speaker, a class D amplifier, and then of course, it's very clear what it is. And then you can um, easily connect it up to your Circuit Playground Express or Microbit or other audio output type design. And um, then it amplifies it. So you get some bops. And that's how it works. Um, So it's really easy and uh, yeah, no soldering required. You just plug in this cable and then you just clip it onto whatever you want. We also have a version of this cable that has um, socket or plug type, like 0.1 inch pitch header, so you can plug into a breadboard. But it's a nice compact design. It's everything you need. Just it's a little speaker, ready to go. You don't need to get an amplifier, wire it up. You know, and can you connect coupling. a bunch of these together? You can. You will get one output per each. Okay. So you would, you know, you could theoretically connect one to like you know, will I have one of these cables and parallel them through? You'll just get multiple speakers and then to make sure you have enough battery. Yes, make sure you have a battery. Uh, 
So that looks pretty enticing, I'm convinced. I'm gonna run back to my mystery cabinet full of wonderful stuff in its drawers. It's one word, and uh, grab one. That's right, that's product pick of the week. It is the Stemma speaker. It is a speaker and amplifier that's super easy plug and play. You can add it to a ton of different microcontroller boards and projects that need a little amp and a speaker. And uh, you can see here, we have a couple of ways of hooking things up. There are these alligator clips up at the top. Uh, and then there is this uh, JST three pin Stemma connector that you can use. And so that's gonna give you the signal power and ground. Uh, it's also got, let me flip to a, a little overhead view here. Uh, it's got this really great feature of having a trimmer pot on there. So you can adjust the volume without needing to do it in code in case you've just got something running that's a little loud for your taste. Really simple, grab a small screwdriver and you can adjust that little trim pot there. And you can see this is one of our great little speakers that is a, it's a eight ohm, one, uh, one watt speaker, plugs into this little connector here. You could presumably remove this speaker and plug something else in if you just wanted it as a, uh, as a breakout for the amplifier. And this also has a little adhesive uh, strip on here so that you can use it as a type of a um, enclosed speaker with a soundboard by connecting it to something. So let me give you a little demo of how it works. I'm going to turn off my uh, AC over here for a second just so it's not quite as loud and at least I can hear things a little better. Uh, so you can see I've got it hooked up right now using one of our Stemma to alligator clip cable assemblies and I have it hooked up to a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. And I'm running the signal over this audio pin here, which on this one is actually PWM, but you can use it with boards that have a DAC as well. And what I've got are a couple of buttons here that'll give us some sound. So let me bring my microphone a little closer to it. And here's one sound. Okay, so what I have there is, sorry, what I have there is a recording, a sampled recording of a phone number. So I'll play that again and I'll put the micro microphone uh, right up close so that if anyone wants to try to decode that and, uh, and then let me know in the chat sometime what phone number that is, it, uh, it shouldn't be too hard. So here we go. And I can confirm that'll actually dial a phone. I put a phone up to it uh, in, in dial tone mode, mode and held it up and it tried to try to call that number. It wasn't in service, that's a hint. Uh, and then you can also use it for um, sort of more traditional bleeps and beeps. You can use it for wave file playback, which is how I'm doing that. Uh, what I have hooked up on the other button here, this one's a little quieter, but I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this works in its sort of um, soundboard enclosure mode. So first let me move the mic over and Okay, so that's my little street chicken song. Uh, and it's not very loud on here. I think it's just a mix that I have that's, that's a little quieter. You can tell the, the phone number is, uh, is just got a higher gain on it. But what I'll do is I'm gonna take this and uh, in fact, I'll leave it, leave it hooked up to this little clip here. And I'm just gonna take a piece of acrylic here and hold it up uh, and you can hear the difference. I'll, I'll press it down to that while it's playing. So you can see you get a bit more of that mid end and low end stuff. Um, and then I also have just a little wooden box over here that I can uh, see if that'll give us a little more resonance. So I'll hold that there. And so you can see you get uh, quite a big difference by having that pressed against something, which is how these little speakers are meant, uh, meant to be used. Uh, and I'm sure if you got uh, a better, this isn't a great, great resonating box, but if you got a better resonator, you could do uh, even louder stuff with it. Uh, so that's just a, a little side 
uh, journey there into some, some ideas on using that. Uh, you can see the board also has some nice mounting holes there so you can hook it up to a project. And what I wanted to do is show you some of the, uh, the associated web pages here. So here is the product page and you can see uh, PT was talking about earlier in that video, really liking that icon. I love it too. There's a really nice uh, silk screen here. And it also gives you the pinout for the JST connector that's on the other side. If you flip that around sort of sideways, there's the connector. Uh, and if we uh, scroll down in here, you can see there's a link to, uh, first of all, let me refresh it and we should see the price get cut in half. Hey, there's only $2.98 right now during this show, uh, maximum per customer of 10. Uh, there are a few project guides that you can go to that use this, uh, this particular uh, stem a speaker in them. And then we can also click on this primary guide and have a look at that. Before we do that, I'll uh, jump to a few different cables. So this is the one I'm using here. It's JST PH three pin to alligator clip. We also have the JST three pin to header pins and one to header sockets. So those are all uh, really useful for connecting up to different types of microcontrollers. Uh, and then if we look at the guide for this. It gives you some info on the pinouts, info on the uh, different wiring that you can do for microcontrollers. This is pretty much how I have mine hooked up right now. So it shows a little uh, fritzing diagram here of using some alligator clips to connect it. And there's some example code for different things like playing back tones on a circuit playground, uh, playing back wave files, and uh, you can look at the code that I've got. Actually, let me flip over to Adam here, my little coding editor. And you can see I'm using the audio core WAV file and audio PWM IO since I'm on an NRF52. This one doesn't have a DAC. And then I'm playing a couple of different uh, files there. And don't look too closely if you want to solve the puzzle of what, what that first uh, sound is because I, I gave it away there in the file name. Uh, so. That is uh, how simple it is, but pretty much any, any code that you have on pretty much any microcontroller that's sending out over a DAC or a PWM to play audio, you can use this. So it's really versatile for, for plugging into different kinds of boards. Uh, let's see. Let me jump back over to the Discord chat here for a second and see if there are thoughts and questions. <laughs> Someone was expecting Rick Astley. Did, did people already uh, decode it? I wonder. I'll, I won't. I won't answer it just yet. Maybe at the end of the show. How about in a few moments? Uh, it is good for playing Street Chicken. That was kind of a weird coincidence that Lamore did that, in, and I already picked it before I saw that uh, that video. Who are you going to call Ghostbusters? Do they have a no? Do they have a number? Do the Ghostbusters have a number? I can't remember. Uh, all right, and uh, beep it one more time, please. Says tackle the world. Here's the, here's the phone number. Here we go. And hopefully that comes through. I've actually uh, done projects before where I've played dual tone multifunction, so two tones at once. I did that inside of make code, which makes it pretty straightforward to run it sort of concurrently. Um, but for this, I cheated and I just downloaded a library of WAV files of zero through uh, nine and then asterisk and pound. Uh, oh, Starman says, get a, if, you wanna, if you wanna get a lot of sound out of it, use a small red solo cup uh, cut a small hole in the bottom, tape it right to the bottom over the hole. It is loud. Hey, that's a great tip. I don't think I have a easily accessible plastic cup here, unfortunately, but uh, that's a cool one. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll play around with that. Uh, in fact, I bet this foam core would even be louder. I've got, just for fun, here's a, here's a piece of foam core from a project. Let's, let's see how that sounds. Yeah, it gets quite a bit louder with it, uh, with it resonating that. Uh, all right, well, uh, let's see, anything else? I should mention, I think that is a, uh, the DAC on that, if we wanna take a look at a little more info on it. If you head to the downloads page of uh, the Learn Guide, uh, you can see the schematic right here. Uh, let's take a closer Look at that, it is the PAM 8302A. It's a 2.5 watt class D amplifier, it's mono. Uh, and you can look that one up. I think we may have other breakouts that, that use that one. So you can look up info on that particular 
uh, amplifier. That's the one that's on there. Uh, okay, well, I think that's going to do it then. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up, shall we? So before I forget, you want to head to this URL and grab uh, one or more at a discounted price. Uh, head to that URL, to that QR code. You will be sent right here where you can get up to 10 of them for $2.98. Put them in your cart. No special coupon code required. Uh, just buy it before too long and uh, it'll be all good. And let's uh, wrap this up. So I'm going to use the little alligator clip there to make a little hanger for my handy dandy board of products here. That's going to do it for the week. The product pick of the week is the Stemma Speaker Breakout Board with Amplifier. Set that there and uh, that's me signing off. So I will see you Thursday for a uh, workshop show. Tomorrow we've got the usual slate of shows. I believe we have a 3D Hangouts. Uh, You can check on our live broadcast announce uh, channel to see. And um, then we'll have the show and tell and ask an engineer. Uh, later on Wednesday. I'll be doing my workshop show Thursday, and I believe Scott is doing a deep dive on Friday. So lots of great upcoming content. Uh, And that's going to do it. So thanks, everyone. I will see you next time for Adafruit Industries. I'm John Park, and this has been JPU's Product Pick of the Week. Bye-bye.